Hi, previous uh, teardown was the Sony uh, CMDX1000 uh, cellular phone. So I guess today it will be interesting to see the Sony CMDX2000 mobile phone in order to see if it is the same inside or completely different. So first they did remove the moving piece here and they did add a thumb wheel here with a clicky action, probably for selecting menus. Uh, they did use a mouse with keyboard. Now the SIM card here is on the side, still in a small holder like so. And it is almost the same kind of battery, but uh, we have four contacts of a different kind. We have also this uh, metal plate at the back with little Torx screws, which uh, are not the same size than previously. So let's try another Torx screwdriver. I hope it will be the correct one. Yes. So, you really wonder if it should be the same kind of assembly. So, first difference here, this metal plate is just falling off when you remove uh, the screws. We have the shielded uh, antenna uh, wire here. And uh, what do we have? The cover must be clipped in place. Yes. Like so. So as you can see, the uh, electronics assembly is much bigger in this one, oddly enough. We have some kind of uh, spring loaded uh, part here. We have to slide probably to unclip quite well. In order to do, I don't know what, because it is not coming apart yet. I have uh, four torque screws that will come off. This one was completely loose, or maybe the the part at the bottom is broken for it and this one too it is weird and now I can undo stuff ok so what do we have we have the two remaining screws these are all live teardowns here yeah, guys no shooting I don't know what I would find when we open the thing so we have this uh, antenna thing is uh, hard soldered in place as you can see. Quite uh, surprising, there was a specific uh, connector here. So I need to cut this. Really, really uh, thin and rigid thing as you can see. I will cut it also here. So, first this part. If you remember in the other phone, we had. Uh, screw at this level but here we have this kind of uh, metal piece inserted and going through the main uh, electronics unit and now I may be able to pull the PCB yes so it is more or less the same than the other one the keyboard seems to be better quality here because it is not coming in parts. We have a small microphone here at the bottom. We have a dot speaker with two screws and spring contacts. So this thing is a September 1997. We have a small um, thumb wheel here. It is uh, coming apart in fact because the other part is uh, is here. Quite weird. We have uh, again. In fact, I will put the two PCBs side to side. If you remember, here we had a 
Euh, copper shielding and uh, we have one here too and also why they need to shield around the uh, LCD finger here microphone have the same spot and uh, most the same kind of connector but not exactly the same kind same uh, kind of uh, keyboard contacts but here it seems it did skip some of the uh, lead some of the backlight lays are not populated. Interesting. Other side, just the contacts for the SIM card. And the board to board connector going to the main unit, which is here. So we can see um, AMD memory chip here, big tantalum capacitor. And it looks like the two parts. Uh, attached together with this uh, metal clips that will go like so and now yes it comes off here are the battery contacts just uh, clipped in place And here we have the main assembly which comes open like so. So pretty serious uh, shielding again here. As you can see we are even a seal alone. And now we have again a Siemens chip. PMB 2100F. Is it the same we have in this one? Uh, it looks like it may be the same. So maybe they were made by Siemens in uh, Europa for Sony. PNB, no, not exactly the same model number. It is uh, 2800 a and 2705 here. But the same package, by the way. So we have one big uh, magnet wire coil. It is not uh, often you see it in a mobile phone. Big totalum capacitors too, quite amazing. And then in this one, which is older, we have no uh, such big capacitors. Uh, nice uh, copper uh, colored uh, high frequency cavity things here, mixer or something. Really nice. And the main uh, hybrid modules, always made by Itachi, these things almost. PF series, and uh, not a um, big deal of uh, high frequency components on this one. It must be very integrated, in fact, in this one. And uh, quite amazing. Let's uh, remove the cover here. Yes, it is uh, coated with a clear, uh, clear coating, so we will be able to see uh, the pass with a USB microscope. There are three chips on this. And here we have some kind of an oscillator. Package, I guess, because there is a trim pot on it. Oh, it was really easy to open. Yes, it is a little PCB with a little trim pot and capacity, uh, cap variable capacitor probably and a little uh, probably quartz module in the middle. Ok, so we have two Siemens chips. On the other side we have just uh, one uh, AMD memory chip here. More Siemens chips here. So this is interesting. I will also pop this one open if I can. But usually on this one, so I'll just uh, a little bunch of uh, yes surface mount uh, components. It is a uh, already made uh, package in fact with uh, surface mount parts. Nothing uh, really fancy. Yes.
maybe uh, some kind of uh, I don't know in fact what they do so this little pipe here high frequency pipe is soldered here fielding of a, of course all around so if we compare to this one as you can see in the other phone we had uh, yes two PCBs like so in the other model it was like so I guess if I remember correctly like so okay one for uh, computer side and one for radio transmitting side and this one is all integrated on one uh, single PCB with a lot less uh, big chips and a lot less uh, simpler uh, high frequency parts but uh, this big unit here but we are missing obviously the big uh, uh, unit Packard hybrid probably replaced by this one okay so this part will be uh, so the subject of a USB microscope uh, video in order to look at the uh, power transistors uh, bonded to it uh, beside other things okay and this uh, will require some uh, action to open it or maybe I see a slot here on the side so maybe I will just try to be not delicate and yes it was easy and it is very old school guys um, looks like a, looks like a TV tuner almost we have uh, service mount transistors uh, printed um, the ceramic backplane here maybe uh, I don't know a weird thing here on two the round transistors and other uh, parts interesting I will keep the cover beside together because I want to be able to search for the part maybe and the white 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 this one here I see yes Oh, it was very easy this one just uh, yes one quartz uh, watch uh, LCD watch quartz uh, two black uh, shape with one little PCB I don't know if they are uh, some kind of quartz uh, ovens with control temperature or not but this was interesting and easy to open and even easy to reclose quite nice okay so it was all for uh, it is all for this thanks for watching bye bye